The SPATS 3 is the newest FDA approved weight loss balloon and it's actually the world's first adjustable gastric balloon. Using an endoscope, a gastroenterologist or surgeon can go into the stomach, place the balloon, fill it up with sterile fluid, and then it remains in place for six to eight months. With the balloon in the stomach, patients feel less hungry, they're able to eat less food, and ultimately they're able to change their habits over time. The reason I'm excited about the SPATS-3 balloon is this is a further advance in the field of endobariatrics and in non-surgical weight loss treatments. We're talking about customized medicine, adjustable balloons, really tailoring the therapy to each patient so they can really achieve their best results. This is the SPATS balloon. The balloon is a silicone clear balloon and it's filled with sterile saline. The way this is placed is it's actually deflated and wrapped up initially. We pass it into the stomach and then fill it while watching with our endoscope. So there's three major differences between the SPATS balloon and other balloons that are FDA approved. The major difference is that the SPATS balloon is adjustable. Now the big advance with this balloon is this attachment to the balloon, this small catheter or wire that comes off of the balloon. What we're able to do is if a patient needs an adjustment, we can actually go down endoscopically into the stomach and grab this little fill catheter and either remove fluid or add more fluid to the balloon. So that allows it to be fully adjustable. And there's two scenarios where this is really important. With the SPATS balloon, we can actually adjust the volume of the balloon, downsize it so that patients can get more comfortable and adjust more rapidly to the balloon. In the SPATS clinical study, of those patients who needed a down adjustment, 82% of patients were able to keep their balloon. That's a major advance. The other situation where we can adjust the balloon is to upsize it. After about three or four months, weight loss can tend to slow down and patients can even see a stall in their weight loss. With the SPATS balloon, we can add more fluid, thereby restore the balloon effect and help patients continue to lose weight. The next major difference with the SPATS balloon is that it can remain in the stomach for eight months. And that extra time is important because we're trying to change habits over time. So an extra two months with the balloon can really help create more lasting habits. The last difference with the SPATS balloon is the really promising clinical results. So if we look at the SPATS clinical trial, patients lost an average of 15% of their body weight. So if you're starting at 200 pounds, you could expect to lose 30 pounds. Though there's a range, so we know patients could lose anywhere between 20 pounds and 50 pounds or potentially more. We support our patients throughout the entire process. They have their own dietitian who they meet with on a monthly basis, and we actually treat the patient for more than the eight months. This is actually a 12-month program. So even after the balloon is removed, patients continue to work with us so we can make sure they remain on track, continue to lose weight, and continue to maintain those healthy habits. So a great candidate for the SPATS balloon is a patient who has a body mass index or BMI between 30 and 40, who maybe has about 20 to 50 pounds to lose, who needs that real kickstart to get weight off and ultimately needs a tool to support them so they can eat less and learn healthy habits over time. So it's a great option for someone who wants a really low risk, reversible procedure. The overall complication rate is around three in 10,000 or 0.03%. In fact, the complication rate is even less than if you were to have a routine colonoscopy. So we have a long-term safety profile on this balloon. We know it's safe and we know how well it works. Here at True You Weight Loss, We've helped hundreds of patients with gastric balloons and we're excited to embrace this new technology with the SPATS-3.